nowhere we've ever traveled has left an impression like the place we're heading now. The next couple of days are some of the most evocative we've ever had. From the laughter, to the tears, from the incredible, to the heart-wrenching. Nothing could have prepared us for this city and its people. A city famous across the globe, one of the oldest on earth, one of the most vibrant, one that over the recent years has become so synonymous with pain, but one with so much more to it than that. This place is like nowhere else on earth. Welcome to Aleppo. Hi, nice to meet you. Matt, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We just arrived in Aleppo, which is an economic capital in Syria and the biggest city. Let's go out in the streets and have a look around. Hello. Oh, it's Yeah. Okay. You don't mind being on camera? No, no, I have yeah. fun. Now we are both. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. It's first time here, yes. Yes, it's our first time. Before that week, mm -hmm. we were visiting this place. It's a Baron Hotel. Yeah, it's a very famous one. It's back to Armenian uh, family. Yeah. Uh, Armenian. Armenian, yeah. Mm -hmm. Marhaba. Hello. Marhaba. Madame Rolina. Madame Rolina is the manager or the owner of this hotel. Uh, due to the safety reasons, we emptied the whole hotel. You're going to go and see the walls only. Sure. Oh, okay. That's it. If mm -hmm. you uh, you like to go and see, mm -hmm. but on the basis you don't take photos. Yeah. Sure, no problem. This hotel is a very important building, and many important, famous people stay there, like Agatha Christie, some presidents. Uh, but it's been affected really badly during the earthquake, and that's why it's been emptied out. And you're not supposed to go inside, but as a favor, we just went in to have a look at our own risk so we weren't allowed to take any pictures or videos but it's just heartbreaking to see this place and uh, we were told that these stories uh, and that happened to many people throughout Aleppo it's been affected really badly during the earthquake Marhaba. Walking around Aleppo, it's impossible not to be overwhelmed by the sights, sounds, smells and smiles of the people. The main streets of the old city are bustling with life, from pedestrians to cars, cyclists and even some on horseback. It's like coconut macarons. So this is all happened during the war. Both. This part, both. Both. During, during the, the war, many buildings. It's so, so weak. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> that quick went coming or happened, destroyed the rest. So everywhere here in Syria has obviously been massively affected by the civil war, um, especially Homs that we saw yesterday. Um, but yeah, here in Aleppo, it's almost a double whammy. So 
it was destroyed during the war and then some of the buildings that were already damaged already structurally unsafe then got pummeled by the earthquake last month and um yeah it's pretty massive amounts of destruction around the entire city yeah I try to, like, to show you guys the smile things. Uh, that have the good joy to smile. We are here. Uh, imagine, imagine surviving the civil war and trying to rebuild your city and then getting struck by something like that. I can't. It's pretty unfathomable, isn't it? It's just hard. It's not, I don't know the word for it. No, the last thing everyone needs as well, I think we mentioned it in yesterday's video, the last thing everyone needs is people turning up and feeling sorry for them and getting upset about mm. things that have happened, right? People here just want to just want to get on with life and just want to forget. Yeah, move on from... Rebuild it and just leave. Not survive, just leave. Yeah. And just when... <laughs> This place was starting to get back to some sort of sense of normality. Boom. Aleppo is a vibrant mix of people and religions. For centuries, the walls of this city have played host to Muslims, Christians and Jews. And before heading to the bustling city market, we went to have a look around an Armenian church dating back to 1491. Stepping inside, we had to be careful as unfortunately the structural integrity of this building was compromised during the earthquake. But to see this piece of Armenian culture deep in modern day Syria was absolutely incredible and a reminder of the multitude of faiths and people that call the Middle East home. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Good, thank you. So we're in the Central Market at the moment, and it's all kicking off here. There's people calling you everywhere, there's music going on, Hello. all sorts of songs. It's the place to be. Yeah, in high school. And now I'm, reti I'm, now I'm retired. Now you're retired? Yeah. yeah. I work only for private lessons. Yeah. But I think that my English is poor because we don't English care. No, it's really not. It's really good. English is better than mine. Okay. I'm working now because I'm restoring the, my house because of the, the earthquake which happened before uh, four or five days or maybe more. I'm not sure. Uh, where are you from? Holland. 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 Yeah. And you speak Dutch? Also, yeah. <laughs> I hope that you enjoy your time here and that's everything I'd like to say. Okay, nice to meet you. I'm failing this. Right? So we've come to the most famous site here in Aleppo which is the ancient citadel that looks over the entire city and from the top you can get an incredible view of the entire region 
Unfortunately, because of the earthquake damage, it's not safe actually to go in at the moment, so we can't actually go up. But we're going to walk around and have a look and um, soak in a bit of the atmosphere. It seems like everyone in Aleppo comes here and there's lots of benches everywhere and you can sit down. You can smell the shisha over there. You can smell the shisha straight Australia. away, right? <laughs> it is the smell of sin. <laughs> This was all the earthquake. Sorry. This was the earthquake. No, no, this no, was the war. No. This was the war. Very old souk here, and uh, we have 37, 37 market here. We're talking about uh, 15,000 shops. It's already ready. It's nuts. So where we were just walking, it seemed like all hope was lost, right? It seemed like the city is finished. Seems like no one's here. You round the corner and then chaos. And it's just another reminder that life here goes on in Syria. And yeah, incredible. What a place. Shukran. Shukran. Nice to meet you. Matt. Hello, Sahel. Syria. 
الابو الابو نحن نحب نحب الشعوب كلها ونحب الشعب الانجليزي والبرتغالي والاسباني انا هنا بالقلب صبر بيوتيفول شيء حلو الحمد لله شكرا شكرا Chaos. I thought we'd leave the market and it'd be quieter. <laughs> Look at the spice. Nuts. Is that sewage for you? <laughs> what is it? Almond. Serious. See? This one. <clears throat> This one inside. Give it a little up. Yeah. Come on. Take the, the beans or the seeds. This one. And you, and you eat it. Oh, my God. Wow. It's a, it's a good taxi. It's a very good taxi. I recommend it. Yeah. Better than Uber. <laughs> we were lost and you picked us up and saved us. Thank you for saving us. And, uh, they were lost and we helped him. So thank you for us. <laughs> thank you, yeah, thank you for saving us. <laughs> okay, no, oh God, really oh appreciate it. <laughs> Every day you learn something new. Yeah, right? you find something new, it's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that is a pumpkin. Wow. You can roll the windows down if you uh, need a clear view. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> That's two things I've learned today. <laughs> After taking another drive across town, we arrived at one of Aleppo's largest churches to help a charity distributing clothes to locals affected by the conflict, poverty and the recent earthquake. These clothes arrived from Poland and they're currently separating it into men, women, children's clothes and uh, then people grab some clothes and they come up to us with a piece of paper that says the number that they can take with them, the amount of clothes and we just count it and bag it up and send them away. Thankfully I got a B at GCSE so I'm very good at counting. <laughs> <laughs> After spending the evening with local charity Eye Care, the next morning we wanted to find out what else they do within the Aleppo region and we were taken to the area's only school and rehabilitation clinic for children with hearing difficulties. This school is home to children of all backgrounds and faiths and it's completely funded by the fundraising, local initiatives and donations of the volunteers and the charity. We were completely humbled by everyone involved in this project. The only place in Aleppo that uh, helps people and only this place is working in, in all of Aleppo. 
Can you imagine? <laughs> the entire <laughs> the city. Only place. Yeah. Leaving Aleppo and heading back south across the country, we were left to ponder our overall impressions of the city, its people and its future. The memories we made here, the incredible people we met, and the laughs we shared with new friends meant that for us, on a personal level, this city will live strongly in our memories forever. The scars from the city's recent history, of course, are everywhere to be seen. And it would have been easy to focus only on that. But the lasting impression we will take away as travelers passing through was one of hope. Not destruction, but one of normal people working together to rebuild their lives and create a bright future for one of the oldest cities in the world. Oh my god! <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> no, how did you do this? What? That's it. Pretend oh it never happened. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut that bit out. Cut. <laughs>